First, let's say we have a stage given. It could be your design. It could be um, anyone's design. In this case, we're just going to use a simple LED stage for a DJ. Uh, we have a left part of this LED. We have a center part and we have a right LED part. And this there is a booth section. So we are going to split up our HD 16 to 9 visual set into maybe following parts. Let's export this as a PNG. In this case, I'm going to export it in, in my desktop. We're going to call it mask. Why mask? I don't know. People call it mask. All the people I know. Anyways, let's let me drop this picture onto the stage. So here we have our 6 to 9 stage as our first clip. So now we add another layer. So we're going to drop our stage picture to that. It's always a good practice to rename the layers accordingly. That's how you are not lost. Maybe we call this set. So let's go to advanced output. Let me get it to full screen. This is my screen output. It's okay. It stays in virtual output. So for the slice one, let me select slice one, rename it to stage. Remember, I told you renaming accordingly is a very good practice. So at the input source section, I'm going to look for set. Cool. And let's turn off the input bypass section and this section. This will ensure that if I put this clear, this clip on and put it in blackout, it doesn't hurt my composition. So if I put this in composition, this one doesn't hurt. But if I don't put it in blackout, this is going to spoil my composition anyways so we have a stage here we're gonna add a slice maybe this slice we can call it left and then or maybe just duplicate this call this center this is our right and there's last one called both so let's select left remember we're in the input section input selection this is our center so let's let's trim it to our center size maybe Ta -da, no, no 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 yeah this so that's our center so that's our right I'm pretty sure you have seen a lot of LED mapping tutorials by this time. There are a lot, of, lot more great features who have explained it way better than mine. Anyways, let me just go to output transform. There's a mess here. So let me select all the layers, all the slices here. Right button and select match input shapes. It just somewhat makes a sense. So let me just map it right now. For the left, I go transform. This is okay. This is okay. I'm pretty sure you have seen a lot of LED mapping tutorials. So we are gonna go really fast in this section. Pooh. So we are done. Let's rename this screen as simulation because we're going to use this group as a simulation, this scene as a simulation. Let's save and close. So here we go. Remember, I told you there is a benefit of having 7.10. Uh, 7.10 lets you to duplicate this preview monitor. Let me just right click here and press duplicate. So this preview screen is duplicate now. So I'm going to just pull it and put it right here so okay oh no not here like here so this preview monitor i'm going to dedicate it for the simulation whenever i work so let's scroll it here and look for screen one simulation yes so now we are allowed to go crazy on our set and whatever we do it here reflects on our simulation let me just put a line here and see what happens. Ta-da! Oh, that's crazy. 
Remember I told you, uh, I'm gonna tell you how you can do the same thing in the older version, but not the full benefit. You can just put it to an external monitor right here and use another TV to see what's happening on the stage. Here's a video of a situation where we were, we could barely see the stage from far. So we use this trick to get over. In this case, instead of a PNG photo, we have rendered an alpha video, alpha DXV and overlaid on top of our composition in advance output. If you have watched this video till this part, that means you are a visual enthusiast like us, like the people in our small uprising community called We Are VJ Bangladesh. Subscribe to our community for future workshop lessons and idea jamming sessions.